So I think the, as we under, uncover the mechanisms by which this works, it's going to be very exciting to see how it works for different diseases. With Otto Warburg, he defined the nature of cancer. Late 20s, early 30s, through the 40s, um, that cancer was a disease of mitochondrial function, energy metabolism. And the Warburg effect is now recognized as one of the uh, underlying features of almost every cancer. What Otto Warburg didn't know uh, is that they, cancer cells can ferment an amino acid called glutamine, and the pathways for that were not known in his time. We just published a paper in, in ASN Neuro defining and showing how this other fuel, an amino acid, glutamine, can also be a, a fermentable product through a pathway in the mitochondria. Therefore, this uncovering or identifying the missing link in Warburg's central theory. When mitochondria are damaged, with this, which, when, when, when any cell is damaged energetically, uh, acutely, the cell will die. Um, acute energy failure will kill cells. Cancer cells have chronic energy failure. And as the result of chronic energy failure, they gradually upregulate ancient metabolic pathways that existed in all organisms on the planet before oxygen came into the atmosphere. So cancer cells simply fall back on ancient pathways of fermentation. And in the human body, that fermentation pathway it uses glucose or sugar to uh, generate uh, energy and metabolites for the cell to grow. So Warburg said all cancer cells are a, 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 the result of a damage to this respiratory capacity, step one. Step two is the ability of that cell to upregulate ancient fermentation pathways. Interestingly enough, the regulators of ancient fermentation pathways are what we call now oncogenes. So the oncogenes are facilitators of fermentation pathways. So you can put together the whole uh, concept of what cancer actually is. But Warburg did not know that there were other fermentable fuels, and that led to tremendous uh, uncertainty as to whether Warburg was correct or not. Cells are taking in oxygen, they're not using glucose, and yet they're surviving, which means that Warburg was wrong. The problem is the oxygen is not linked to, into respiration, and they're burning another fermentable fuel, which he didn't know about. Now we know about that. It's glutamine, and that's the missing link. Thank you.